G'day viewers, today Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott declared that Australians were sick of the United Nations telling us what to do. What brought this on you may ask? Well, probably the United Nations saying Abbott's policies meant Australia was in breach of their international obligations, I should say our international obligations, regarding torture. Namely, what he's doing to asylum seekers, having them in fucking prison camps on islands where people are suffering just terrible mental health issues, people are suffering terrible physical health issues, people have been murdered and there's been no investigation. That, surprise surprise, is being called torture. Now you see, there's been warnings. For over a year there have been people from the UN saying, you know the shit you're doing? you're not meeting what you're meant to meet by international obligations. And locally, our Human Rights Commission tabled a report that said, this is all kinds of shit. Abbott's reaction was to attack the chair of the Human Rights Commission saying, oh, it's a political stitch up. Despite the fact everyone apart from your fucking party thinks this is bullshit. And now the United Nations have straight up said, this is torture. You're breaking international law. You know where you go from here, dickhead? The next step is you facing trial in The Hague for crimes against humanity. Because you seem too fucking stupid to work out that your actions can have repercussions. I just thought I'd fill you in on that. That is it. See, all Abbott's saying Australians are sick of. There are a number of things Abbott seems to have no clue about. First is the fact that he's a dead man walking. No matter what he does, he does not lead his party to the next election, okay? And personally, as someone who wants to see his party suffer electorally, every day he stays on is a treat because he just makes things worse for his own party. But he makes it worse to just be an Australian, to be a human. Tony Abbott makes any thinking, feeling human feel Awful. Okay, another thing he seems to have no clue about is this shit, what he's doing, is torturing people. He thinks, oh, because this plays to the bogans in the western suburbs of Sydney. Oh, well, that'll be okay. You know, history is going to see you as the person who fucking tortured people fleeing from persecution. Uh, when you say, oh, we should get credit for turning the boats back. He literally means people fleeing from a regime like Sri Lanka, which is known to torture the Tamil minority, actually catching these Tamils who are fleeing, handing them straight to the Sri Lankan military and saying, ha, ah, take them back. What could possibly go wrong with that? He's going, oh, people were drowning at sea. Now they're not. Yeah, it's way better if these horrible brown people die somewhere else rather than on your doorstep, isn't it? It, it doesn't matter that you personally are directly responsible for people being tortured and murdered for what you've done. So long as it doesn't get on the evening news, you're fine, you piece of fucking shit. And a third thing Tony Abbott doesn't get is exactly what Australians are sick of. And I'll help you out, buddy. If you want to know what Australians are sick of... Look at your latest popularity polls, or in your case, lack of popularity polls. Oh, maybe go to your own fucking party room and say, Hey fellas, let's have a vote on whether or not I should still be Prime Minister. And third, if you really want to know what Australians are sick of, fucking go back to one of your promises. One of the million or so promises you broke, you wouldn't cut a deal with minor parties. You'd go for a double dissolution before backing down on any of your policies that you've broken that one so many times. Do it. Call a fucking double dissolution. Call an election. And then you'll find what the Australian people are sick of. They are sick of you, you fucking piece of shit.